I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, right now we will uh, go through an exercise number two for uh, set theory. So problem two, and this is about sets. Um, let's consider two different sets. Set A, which contains wall, building, planet, and the book. And set B, which contains, let's say, wall, book, man, This small exercise will be about certain operations which you can do um, with these sets. So I will do the following thing. I will do the union. I will do the intersection. Um, then I will do union with an empty set and intersection with an empty set. Um, just as an illustration of what this is all about. Um, so you can pause right now, you can answer what will be the result of these operations yourself, and, uh, and I will just do it myself right now. Okay. Let's think about what will be the union between uh, A and B. Union is an operation which results in combining all elements from the element elements of the one set and all elements uh, from the ele uh, all, all elements from the another set. Um, so let's consider what will be the union in this case. Obviously everything from A should be included, which is wall I'll put curly brackets around. Wall building planet, and book. Next, we should consider the set B and uh, identify which elements are new and uh, which elements are not really containing already in the A. The ball has already been listed as part of the A set the book as well, but man and pen were not listed before. So if I'm unionizing A and B, I have to add man and pen. And that's the result of the uh, union between A and B. Now, the intersection is a set which, is, which contains common elements between A and B. All right, what's the common? Well, Ball. Is the ball common? Yes, it is. It's contained, it's contained in both. Is the building common? Well, no, there is no building in B. So building is not a common element. Planet, neither. The book is actually the common element. So the intersection contains only these two. Now, obviously, you don't have to go through these uh, elements to, to find common, because uh, you have already gone through these guys and chose only those which are common. Obviously, to go again through the B doesn't really make any sense, because you will not find anything new which is common. So it's practically enough to go through elements of one set and pick only those which the second one contains. Incidentally, if we reverse the sequence, Let's say we do it the other way around. We start from B, and we go through the elements of B, and we'll find which are common with A. We should come up with exactly the same result, right? Why? Because if you remember, these operations are all commutative. OK, let's do that. Let's start with B, 
and do the intersection with A. Ball, is it common? Yes, it is, because A also contains it. Book, is it common? Yes, because A contains it as well. Man and pen are not common because A does not contain them. So we came up with the same result. It basically illustrates that A and B, or B and A, are all interchangeable in the set operations. It's all commutative. Okay, great. Now, these are, well, they might look a little strange. But what it means, let's just think about this. We are unionizing A with an empty set, which means we are combining elements from one set and another set. So all elements of A obviously will be included, which are uh, ball, building, planet, and book. Okay, and we have to add all elements of the second set, but second set contains nothing. It's an empty element, uh, an empty set. There are no elements there. So there is nothing to add. That's it. So the result of the unionizing between A and empty set is basically the same thing as A. All right. How about intersection? If we are intersecting uh, a set with uh, an empty set, well, what intersection means? Common elements. If this guy does not contain anything at all, there is nothing in common. So no matter how big A will be, when you're intersecting with empty set, you will get exactly empty set, always. So these are very elementary properties of, uh, uh, of the set operations which I wanted to demonstrate in this particular exercise. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much.